Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Zero Designs here and today I'm making a tutorial on an animation inside Cinema 4D. It's not really complicated, it's just thinking smart. And that is one of the things that you need to do while being a designer, obviously. Um, so I'm sorry for not talking for a long time, or it feels like that, because I had some uploads, but they were scheduled, but I didn't talk for a long time. So um, this is pretty much what we are creating today. So uh, obviously it doesn't look too complicated and it isn't, but um, yeah, it's just kind of thinking smart. So what I uh, want to just uh, talk about is how you can use this first. Um, you can obviously animate a logo behind it and then just have this text in front of it. And you can light it cool and stuff like that. You know what's going on. Uh, but that's not what this tutorial is about. So let's just get started by uh, just starting with a plain project. So what we first want to do is create our text. So this is really easy. I'm just going to type in zero designs without any capitals. That's because I'm using a font that I really love using. Let's make the depth 50. So we have a bit of depth in there. Align it to the middle so we can see it a bit better. And let's make sure that we change our font to the font we want. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Source Sans Pro Black. So this is the Source font uh, family. And um, yeah, so now that we have this kind of setup, we want to go ahead and animate it. So the first thing when I saw this is like how I'm going to do it. Um, really easy effect. Uh, Plane effector, so just MoGraph effector, plane effector. That's that what that's what came up to me at first. But what you gotta make sure is you select the mo text and go to mo MoGraph effector and add the plane uh, and make sure it jumps up. Or what you can do is just um, add a plane effector and click on the MoGraph and then go over to um, all and plane effector in there. But I'm just going to do it the other way just to be safe because that's what I always do. It's just the best thing to do, really. So I'm sorry for, <laughs> for giving you waiting there. So uh, let's go over to the parameters. So obviously, we do not want to animate the position quite yet. What we do want to animate is the scale and especially the Z scale. And let's make this minus one. So as you can see right now, that's just looking weird. and. How I fixed this was really easy. I, all I did was change the X to minus one as well. And now if you uh, go over to the fall off and change this to linear. So what the fall off is, is pretty much where uh, where the plane effector is going to be affecting this. And we're going to cho be choosing linear because we only want it to be on the plus uh, on the minus X side. And as you can see, as we drag this along, um, the plane effector doesn't affect it anymore. So this is the kind of basics of our animation. So what we can do is just go ahead and animate this real quick. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you kind of start the animation right before something comes on. This will come in handy later. I'll explain it later, but just do it for now. Let's go to the end or 150 keyframes and let's go right at where it's stops animating and create another keyframe. So what we have right now is just this simple, really easy animation and it doesn't look great yet. So what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the plane effector and just add a little bit of rotation. Uh, let's add the rotation on the height or the H. I don't know. I don't even know what that means, but um, Let's make sure this is uh, around 50. Let's see if that looks good. So as you can see, this is looking better, better. This is looking really good. And this is kind of what we want. But on the other one, you could see that uh, the beginning was faster and it ends real slow. So what we're going to do is we're first off, we're going to select both our keyframes by holding shift. And what we're going to do is change the interpolation to linear. This will make sure that every single frame, the same amount is, uh, same distance is kind of traveled by this. 
and uh, just compare it with a car. This car doesn't start up, it doesn't slow down, it, all it does is go straight through in the same speed and that's pretty much what that does, linear. <laughs> and yeah, so now we have this set up, all we, uh, all we gotta do is just come over to our timeline, window, timeline and plane effector, position and we only use the X position. So if this doesn't really look good, all you can all you can just click one of these, uh, frame all, frame to view, and frame to view current time. That's pretty much gonna change the view of this. So what we want to do is we want to click the last one of this, change the selected keys keyframes to ease out, uh, or we want to ease in actually. And what we want to do is we want to start fast. So this works the same as the um, curves inside After Effects and what we want to do is pretty much how steeper the line is how faster our object is traveling so what we want to do is we want to start off real real steep and then at the end we want it to kind of slowly come to fade in all right so now that we have this done let's see uh, how our animation is looking as you can see uh, it kind of stuck at the end so this is because we didn't animate correctly. So let's go back to our timeline and actually zoom in and let's make sure we frame it all. You can see a tiny bit of this is going over the red line and we don't like it's going back. So it went up, it went down and then it went up again. And we don't want that. So let's just change this bit down and let's just make sure that it's one straight line. Uh, it's, well, not a straight line, a curved line, but it's always going upwards and it's never going downwards, if you understand me. So here we go, there we have fixed it. So let's make this uh, just a little bit longer. Let's make it 170. And let's make sure our animation is correct. So here we have our really nice text animation. It, it looks really nice already. So what you can do right now is just light it using the Grayscale Gorilla Kit. But uh, I'm not going to go into that. I'll just show you a little bit of an example. I'll just uh, try to edit this a little bit and then I'll show an example at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video. But um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it and please enjoy.